Evening YouTube. Clandestine pipe here. And a salute to past YouTube pipe smokers. I've only been posting for maybe a couple months. Maybe more. Mm -mm, not more than six months. And uh, yet I've been watching for a lot longer. I'm sure most of us remember back when VSL David was Laughter 1099. But, and I, I would be interesting to see what the average shelf life, I guess it's maybe a bit soon to tell, of, uh, of a YouTube pipe presenter. Hmm. And why? <laughs> but, oh, but first the housekeeping. Tonight I'm enjoying in this nice short little clay work pipe which has the odd initials which you probably can't see td and uh i believe this is germany on here on the side yeah which you're not going to be able to probably make out come on stay here focus okay that says germany and you know i'm enjoying ratrage black mallory which is mm, one of my finest favorites finest favorites and then of course a, a big hot floral patterned mug of um, black tea mm, it's called uh, London tea my, my in-laws brought back from a trip of from to London and picked it up at the London Underground and it's pretty good not that I'm a connoisseur mm. but back to the uh, salute at hand. <laughs> Some uh, pipe smokers who seem to have kind of fallen off the radar. Mm, and I believe they're accounted for, but just I, you know, I miss seeing their videos. Eric, 1968. Was it 1968, Eric? There's Eric, 1968. Fantastic, fun videos. Guy who smoked like I smoke. I mean, it really didn't seem to be in it for their prestige. It, I mean, as far as impressing everybody, we try lots of good tobaccos. But would also, you know, very often be smoking a big bowl of uh, Carter Hall or I think even Prince Albert, which are two of my uh, favorite over the counter blends. Mmm. Um. Of course, uh, Damon, the uh, Waterford smoker, mm, who is uh, just starting his experiment with us. It's always fun when people actually just start smoking. I mean, I'd been smoking for a decade before I started making videos, so I, all of those kind of first time experiences were long since gone. But it was so cool to watch him and you know, having those stories, it was moved from cigarette smoking to pipe smoking and so on. Mmm. Oh, the pipe freaks. How many times have I watched and rewatched those videos? Awesome. <laughs> They're just so great. I mean, the guy, Pipe Creek Senior specifically, just had hats that would make Shriners jealous for years and years to come. Um, it was just very little cooler than those, uh, <laughs> just the, the way it all went down. Great tips on, uh, pipe smoking. Mmm, awesome. Awesome stuff. Hi, Pipe Reek Senior here. Oh, man, just cracked me up every single time. And also, it kept you abreast of some of the stuff, because it, uh, it kept me abreast of some of the stuff that I would never have known otherwise. Very knowledgeable. Oh. What fun. What fun. Mmm. Well, I won't bore you. Mmm. 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 But. And then, of course, all the steady favorites. You know, Joffrey, Piper, and CHF. All cheat CHS. Uh, Cal and, and Smoke Dreams, Pipe Dreams. And there's great stuff. Who... Who have I missed? Oh, uh, 
Yeah, I already mentioned uh, Dave VSL. Watch, I watch uh, everything Smoking Deck puts, puts out. Great, fun stuff. Mm. And it's just fun to see new faces. Obviously, Pipe Pastor, who I uh, am in pretty regular contact with anyway. But, and of course, uh, his son. Yeah. Um, yep, so if I start doing shout outs now, I'll be doing it all night because I watch uh, everybody's videos. But who are your great pipe smokers of the past? I mean, on YouTube, YouTube pipe presenters of the past. And uh, yeah, what do you miss most about them? Hey, hope you have a great night and that the smoke continually satisfies.